Hey YouTube, it is Morgan. So this is my 238th wedding series video. So I'm coming with you another update from my wedding stuff. So um, I emailed China's friends at the makeup artist of China, and she has not replied back to me because I answered her questions. And she did not reply back to me, um, waiting for her response. Um, the lady from the, um, one that my hubby found online didn't respond to me either. And then my last resort is the one that my high school, elementary school, um, friend used, uh, she does makeup as well. So I'm still waiting for their reply. I've been on Etsy all day today. Um, sorting out what to get for a thank you for a bridesmaids gift. So when I did my hair, um, the late one of the hairstylists was like, "Oh, I just got married," and I'm like, "Oh, really?" So I was like, "Can you give me some tips? Like, what should I?" Um, um, I was like, "Oh, when can we?" You know, she's like, "You need help with stuff." I'm like, "I'm just trying to figure out like." stuff like what stuff and i told her well i'm kind of trying to figure out like even though the bridesmaids didn't get their dresses yet but i'm thinking of like what i'm going to buy for them for thank you gift from etsy she's like oh my god i love etsy but you can get in trouble with etsy and i'm like i know because it's so good stuff but so damn expensive so i so we were discussing about it and then we she, you know, she told me, oh, just try to get three things, three to four things, and then that's it. So, so I was like, yeah, you know what, you're right. So I'm thinking of getting them a tote bag, a robe, a hanger, and some slippers. Um, and then of course I have the phone chart, the phone chargers from before. Because remember they came in late after the fact that I sent the bridesmaid proposal boxes. So they'll get that as well. So I kind of make a list um, of like a little chart thingy. I took my daughter's craft paper and her little pen. Well, her little pen thingy. So I wrote down everybody's name down here. And then I wrote down like what gifts they're gonna get like so i'm not sure about the t-shirt and i'm not sure about the sash and the jewelry as of yet because they're so expensive so i think like the jewelry the bridesmaids can figure it out um the jewelry and the shoes and the dress they can buy i mean t-shirts i can buy regular t-shirts and buy decal and put the decal on the, the t-shirt sash maybe maybe not i have to still think about it um but I am going to, once I find it and purchase it, I will put a check mark on there and to make sure that I got it. Um, just like how I did for the proposal boxes where I said how many, how many this, how many that I need to, uh, put together. So, I was like, okay, no problem. So, she, then she was like, you have to get this done back there. And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm freaking out. She's like, how many more months do you have? And I told her I have seven months left. She's like, oh, my God, time is going so fast. So I was like, you know, my hairdresser was like, you know what? Because my hairdresser, they're kind of kind of expensive. Like, they do really good hair products and stuff. So And they're very clean. So my hair, you know, so my hairdressing place is like, one stop shop everything so one place for everything so they have hair they have nails and then they have waxing so i was like hmm three things i need off my list so i spoke to my hairdressers you know she already knows that she's gonna be doing my hair so i spoke to the nail ladies and then i spoke to the waxing ladies and they say no problem we can do it so i'm like perfect so one stop so everything that i need is in one place now I, you know, a tanning place I need to find. But I'm not going to cross them off the list officially. I'm going to wait a little bit. But I want to speak to the manager so she can give, he can give me a good price. Because I don't want to, 
pay and make a hole in my wallet on top of doing all that so I'm like that's interesting imagine if I get everything done there so I'll get my hair done in stages so what I was thinking as far as my hair done in stages is I'm gonna get a weave a sewn in weave a week before I am going to put a rinse like a blondish rinse a week before and then I'm going to do my waxing a week before the wedding just in case I do get reactions I could recuperate from it pretty well then um two days before I'm gonna go back to them her to do my hair for the um, rehearsal dinner like do something cute like maybe like a side bun or something or something you know simple and chic and then um, the night before that I'm gonna go back and then she's gonna do my hair halfway so like she's gonna straighten it or curl it halfway she's gonna do my hair halfway uh, my you know my my hair just my wedding hair she's gonna do that halfway and then the my, day uh, she has it halfway done so she doesn't start from the beginning so that's like a good plan but I'm just gonna have to go back and forth a lot and then the night before is when I do my nails so I'm gonna do regular like um like a French like either pink and white color mixed together and then I'm going to put in this finger Swarovski crystals and then that will be and then my toe is also gonna be Swarovski crystal my big toes so I am pretty stoked about that idea of having everything done and then the wax lady she told me that she could do the whole body it would take about two and a half hour to do because she has a special wax and I'm like wow so one day I'm gonna spend like hours in there so in one day I'm gonna get a perm then I'm gonna get a um um what you call it a rinse then on top of getting a rinse I'm gonna get some um some tracks and sewn in my hair then after that's gonna take forever then it's gonna be the waxing those days so it's gonna take a while for these things to happen so yeah um yeah then then after that it's gonna be like it's gonna I have to schedule everything it's gonna be very like time consuming going back and forth 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 so I'm just excited to get everything together and on points and looking beautiful so I don't know so the makeup artist I'm still looking um I'm just wondering like how everything is gonna be. I don't want to stress out. I don't want to be a bridezilla. So I kind of decided that I don't want the bridesmaids and stuff to do makeup from a professional. I feel like it should just only be me as well as my hair. So I mean... So it's just because I don't want to... um. I don't want to, you know, be very craziness. I don't want to be worried. My mom is like, don't stress it. Just focus on yourself. Don't focus on everyone else. And I'm told her. And I did. And I'm waiting for, you know, them to reply back. So, that's pretty much it. I, um... I'm happy that I spoke to the hairdresser, my wax lady and nail lady, so I might do everything there. It depends on the price and what the manager will give me. Um, I will just wonder how it's going to be with everything together. So, I will definitely talk to you guys soon. I don't want to ramble on. I have to cook dinner. I'm going to get ready for church tomorrow, so I'm going to go to bed early, and then we'll be good. So I will be very happy to be 
making update videos with you because that means I'm getting things off the list. And yeah, I'm gonna go once I uh, finish with you guys. I'm going back on Etsy, revise my my shopping cart with the stuff that I need for them. Um, so I'm going to be very busy on Etsy. So I will definitely talk to you guys soon. Bye.